So this is turquoise blue uh, from White Knights. It's one of the rare colours that I didn't get from Daniel Smith. The uh, reason why I have it from White Knights is I bought it at Straits Art um, because it was quite, actually quite affordable. I bought a, a full pen and I think it cost less than $5 so I thought it was really quite a good deal. Um, so this colour is um, it's like it's a it's a deep turquoise colour, close to blue. Um, so you can see from the uh, first column that it is transparent. The paint is transparent, and when you do the paint in uh, water test, you can see actually two types of particles inside, and the finer particles are do spread quite a bit, um, and it is it's slightly staining slight staining can but you actually can lift off quite a lot of the colors and fairly mobile so can you see from this uh, third column that you can actually get quite a dark turquoise and it can also be diluted to a very sweet um, Tiffany blue color turquoisey color so this is a mixture of PB153 and PG7 it's transparent and it's light fast. Um, it's uh, relatively well. Uh, the light fast is really relatively good. The slightly staining and it's granulating as you can see from here. I tend to use this color in between skies and forests. So if I'm painting distant mountain, I will use this color in between uh, the, the, the sky which is at the top and the, the forest which is at the bottom. It's versatile. You can see from the mixtures that uh, when you mix it with the browns, yellow, red, and um, pink, you get a host of colors. Um, you do get things like um, brown, burnt amber color. You get the greens, um, and some of these olive greens, some of these prettier greens, and also even get purple. Yeah, and yeah, and and it's really quite versatile, which is why I say it's a very versatile color. You can actually use it to make a rainbow with all the other colors that you have. This is how the colour looks like. Um, I shall just start painting it now. Okay. So for the first for, for this um, for this part, I do not think we need to use a concentrated colour. So the thing about this um, paint is it's quite it's very uh, so so pretty, right? Okay, this colour from White Knight is very intense. So if you uh, accidentally take too much of it undiluted, you get like a super dark colour like, like this. See? <laughs> Can you see how dark it is? Uh, so you got to be really careful uh, when you use it. But it dilutes really nicely and it gives you a very pretty um, turquoise colour. I, I think it's not just, uh, you know, it's this is a, a very... Um, it's not proprietary to... To white knight it's a color that you can find in other other brands yeah but it's a good color to have i normally use it for like uh, water bodies like ponds and and uh, rivers yeah and things like that lakes and uh, things like that okay so for the colors i'm planning to just keep it pretty simple um and and and, and pure because we want to showcase the colors then um, there's some snow over here at the top so I'm just leaving it some white to show that it's actually uh, snowing you know some kind of like specks of snow or something like that then um, over here right okay maybe before I, I do the awning I'll, I'll be doing the the walls similarly it's the same same turquoise um, slightly diluted So next, I will try to mix this with the passion orange. I'm not sure because I haven't done, I haven't mixed it before. E okay, so it gives you a, like a weird green. Okay, so after mixing it, I realized that it gives me a, like a really weird green. Uh, don't know if I'll use it. 
Maybe I can do is I can drop it a little bit. Ooh. Okay, this passion orange is very interesting. It's from uh, I think I pre presented it earlier um, in my uh, this you member shop front drawings. Um, it's it's a it's a color from Kusakabe. It's a Japanese brand, and it is very. It looks like fluorescent um, on its own, but if you dilute it, if you dilute it enough, it actually doesn't look so. It, it, it's actually quite usable. I don't know how to describe. Yeah, but I, I sometimes use it um, together with green because it can make. Can you see like after mixing it with the turquoise, it, it become like a phthalo green color, which is, is I think is quite interesting so you know you can also sort of mix it up like that and you can have different degree of greenness so your painting doesn't look too like boring yeah so uh yeah so let's just add a little bit more I quite like you know playing with all these like different colors let's try mixing the orange the orange this is a brilliant orange from Shinhan okay mixing it with the turquoise so it gives you like a brown Right, which is like totally, it's like perfect, perfect for the, the the shadow area. So just drop it in, so it gives you all these. You know, you don't really have to paint it; just drop it because it really has water in it. So it sort of like just, you know, joins everything, joins the rest of the painting. And similarly, I think for for this part, um, because I painted it earlier, it may have um dried already, so it doesn't matter. I'll just use a hard. It, it can it can be a hard line. I think it's fine. Just draw it draw it down just for the shadow part and I think what I'll do is then I'll merge the the uh, Garnier 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 is a very beautiful colour as well it's a colour that you can buy you, you can also call it Garnet okay I call it Garnier I don't know why but I call it Garnier it sounds better <laughs> may not be right but nah yeah, so this is this is how then I will just continue with pure garnet. I will just drop my garnet in. Like so I want it to be yeah, just blooms of colours. Like that. And similarly as here as well. Doesn't have to yeah. So this would be like the you know the brick wall and everything. Then uh let's add a bit of I think I will use the Shinhan yellow. This is the cadmium. I think it's their cadmium deep or something. Okay, so I'll just just to paint the 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 wall the the door. So using the the the, the paint that has to dry, let's use a little bit more of that turquoise. Okay, so that because it's actually more turquoisey than green. So yeah, this is, this is actually like um, some graffiti. Okay, I'm just gonna do a wash and then what I'll do is um, I will just use my white pen to go over it. Okay, next we will paint this thing here, which I don't know what, I don't know what this is, but let's paint this. I think it's a heater, which is the Garnier with the turquoise green. I will be painting this part here. This turquoise is quite mixable. Um, okay, this is the like a the greyish, blackish, a warm grey, I would say. Okay, so these are the grills um, for the shop which is next door. Uh, using the same grey, uh, black, I'll paint the window pane on the side as well. So next we will be painting the, the center part, I mean the uh, the windows. So uh, just drop in uh, some dark colors to show that this is actually the inside of some building of the of the um, inside of the shop. Uh, this is actually a spotlight. Okay, so I'll just do something like that. The turquoise and the garnet. Me, yeah, I'm finishing up my garnet. Look how nice and dark it is. Wow. Today I discover new things about my paints. Okay, so this is the 
the dark the darker shade that I can I think I've ever made with any watercolor. Actually, no lah, not really. <laughs> but it is quite rare to get something so dark, like just with two colors. This is to paint this part over here. I think I'll use my super dark mixture, mm, and then I will just do it. Okay, so these are these are like three branches. All right, so finally, finally, I'll paint in the flowers. So when it's sufficiently dry, uh, I will just do up this part. So let's examine um, the sketch that I use it for. So in this sketch, um, I try to use it, uh, mix it with the colours that I've uh, done use in the mixture. And as I, as I mentioned many times, this colour is can give very light, pretty colours. And when mixed together, it can give you the brown, it can give you the green, and, and the shadow colours. So with this one colour, you can make all these different uh, tonal values and, and it's, it's really a very good colour to have in the palette. So I would suggest you go and buy uh, a turquoise blue. doesn't have to be from White Knight, but Knights, but um, something similar uh, will be a very useful addition to your palette.